Hey, what's up, bros? This is Shrim coming at you with another vlog. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for like the past month, but I've been really busy with school stuff, so yeah, I don't really have any choice there. But um, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, the topic I really want to talk about today is kind of dealing with long-term struggles as well as um, kind of leaving the past. And uh, I just really wanted to finish out my little like kind of series. Uh, last month, I talked about uh, kind of dealing with short-term struggles. So this is kind of my perspective on long-term struggles. And, um, you know, I usually don't ask for you guys to be really open-minded, but especially for vi this video, if you could, uh, just keep an open mind through everything, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, diving right in, um, this is something that's kind of been with me for probably the past five years. Um, it's something I've really struggled with, and, uh, I know a lot of people struggle with it, and it comes in, like, different intensities and variations, so I understand that everyone isn't going to be the same, like, all our struggles aren't going to be the same, so... Yeah, just throwing it out there, like, I don't want to compare anyone's struggles to um, anyone others, any others, because I think that's really, it's kind of impossible to do, you know? So with that all said, um, yeah, so about five years ago, you know, it really happened for me. Um, you know, I went through this, like, phase for a couple years where I was just, like, really depressed and I couldn't do anything productive and I just kind of escaped from everything, like... Yeah, it sounds really stupid, but, you know, I, like, burned relationships with pretty much everyone. Like, I almost lost my best friend who I've known since I'm five years old. Like, people thought I was going to die before I was 18 years old. Like, shit was ridiculous. And, um, you know, after two years, I kind of woke up from it, and I was just like, damn, like, I really got to make this change in order to, one, just be productive in life, and two, you know, I want to do something. I don't want to be, like, messed up for the, <laughs> the rest of my life, you know? Like, got to make that change. And um, I think the part I really want to focus on is just like allowing yourself to make that change and um, just really separating yourself from the past because, you know, I, I know it's a really hard thing. Like it was also really hard for me as well. Like for the two years after I decided to change, like I, I didn't allow myself to even like live at all. Like all I did was I studied, I played video games and I slept. Like that was pretty much the course of my two years because I was so terrified of like going back and like hurting all these people again and just I felt so ashamed and I couldn't build those kind of relationships with people and I'm not even talking about like having a girlfriend having a boyfriend like fuck man but just like even having like genuine friendships with people was so impossible and um you know I think the things that I went through I don't think they're uncommon I think shame and guilt like I think everyone goes through them but they're also like the worst thing for your mentality like it's terrible and um i really like to encourage people just to like you know after you make that change like there's definitely gonna be a point where you feel really proud and you're happy and you're just like doing your thing but just hold on to that happiness man and remember where you came from because like you know there's gonna be days that are really shitty where you want to go back where you don't want to deal with life anymore on life's terms and like there's gonna be days like that and there's gonna be days where you have to make amends with people and like really try to repair these important relationships and you know they're gonna be really difficult like I'm not saying like for everyone but I know from definitely from my experience it was really hard um, like even now like I can it's so hard for me to like be with certain people for long periods of time just because you know you feel so ashamed about it and um you know today like I can look back on it and be like, you know, it was like five years ago, like, you know, like shit's changed since then. But what I really want to emphasize is like not beating yourself up like forever about it. Cause you know, I did it for like two years. And it's like, what did I gain out of those two years? Like everything would have turned out exactly the same. Like if I would have let myself go out, like have friends, be able to have relationships with people, like take kind of like risky things, like obviously not off the bat, but um, maybe after like six months or like a year, like depending on how you develop and how you recover. So, you know, that's really all I wanted to talk about. And um, yeah, this is kind of my thoughts on the series. It's just closing it out. So if you're going through that spot, you know, feel free to hit me up. Like, I'm here to listen. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna give the best advice to people, but you know, I'm here. And uh, that's really all I want to do. Like, I, I, cause there were definitely people back then who um, like gave up time with their families to help me out. And um, if I can just do even remotely, 
close to that. Like if if I if um I can listen, and then that makes you feel better. Like fuck it, man. I'm 100 percent down. So yeah, this is just closing out on the series. Um, but yeah, just thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, I want to give a short shout out to my friend ZZ Hawks. Um, he's starting a YouTube channel, so if you like commentaries or you like Dota 2, check him out. But yeah, this is about it. Peace, guys.